Fine Boy, the first classical text written in 1949 by a black author, will be turned into a musical. This is in line with celebrating 20 years of democracy. The musical will be showcased at the Wini Arts and Heritage Centre in the KwaZulu-Natal province. Joining us from our Durban studios for discussion on this historical novel is Jerry Pue from the Wini Arts and Heritage Centre. Jerry, good morning. Welcome. Morning, morning. Jerry, why the decision to put this into a musical? Uh, myself and my friend Ruth Weinstra, uh, we've been adapting different novels. Um, so this is our third one. Uh, we believe that we need to put and bring novels into life because you know that a lot of people are lazy to read these days. So it's better if we do, we do something that's big but also is because of our 20 years of democracy and 21 years of eager artists, which began at the University of Natal. Jerry, this was time. written by a black author back in 1949, and it hasn't lost its relevance. Two-part question, how, why hasn't it lost its relevance, and how has it been able to sustain its relevance? Uh, it's because it's talking about the real issues, you know, uh, the issues that we are now talking about. We're now talking about social cohesion as if it's a new thing. We're now talking about nation building as if it's a new thing. These are things that started as early as 1949. Um, and also it's relevant because it's talking about the miners and the life of the miners. Uh, you know that the buzzword these days is the mine uh, yeah. issues, especially the issue of Marikana, the issue of mine strikes. So it's so relevant because it's, it's touching on those issues that um, were there in 1949, which are really still there even now. Talk to me about the challenges and the complexity of taking a novel that we talked about the relevance, but turning it into a musical and making sure that it, it still has to prescribe to being entertaining, um, it has to be, have entertainment value. Uh, it, it, it took us at least three years with Rule talking about it, and uh, Rule is the one that has adapted it into a, a, a script. And then I had to, of course, come in and try and add the music in it. So it's been a very difficult thing because it's a very rich novel, and um, when you read it, you can really imagine a lot of things happening in your head. So for it to be adapted into a musical, it was not that challenging because it has beautiful dialogues and beautiful monologues that um, are visually rich. Let's talk quickly about the elements of this production because there's a lot of choreography, there's a lot of video projection. Who, I mean, talking about a three year, uh, it's taken three years to put the project together, but who have you worked with in terms of the industry to make sure that it comes to life? Um, I, I'm, I'm co-directing with Rul Twainstra, who's well known for his directing. And uh, I'm also working with Stella Zuma, who is uh, the choreographer. And I'm working with Fiso, who dances for uh, a flat food dance company, a well known. Uh, dance company in Devon. Uh, so that's that's our creative team. And we work with La Zondi, putting together the aspect also of uh, the the music. So it's 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 the people that are respected in the industry, especially here in Devon. Reflect for me very quickly yeah. because the Wishwini Arts and Heritage Center itself was founded about twenty years ago. Do do a bit of a reflection for me in terms of just what the Heritage Center has been able to achieve and the kind of productions that's come through uh, on the stage and through the door. Yeah, um, Ushwin Arts Center um, is an, it's an old um, institution, but it, the building itself, it was only in 2010, uh, our center. Um, but in the last 20 years, we've done a lot of productions, uh, Peace in the Valley, um, We've also co-produced with Rule and co-directed uh, the uh, lot of musicals that were very big, that taught Holland, uh, that taught the U.S., and that taught South Africa. We've just done um, Albert Lutuli, a musical, Let My People Go, and we've just done 
Dino Zulu, The Last Warrior King musical. So we've done really uh, big musicals and, and Mind Boy is really one of them to uh, showcase that uh, Wushwini is very stronger in terms of uh, big productions, especially the musicals. Jerry, final question for those that are interested in the production. Uh, when is it on and how much will it cost? Very quickly. Uh, the production is on uh, from the 19th of June to the 24th of June. Uh, it will be performed at the Stable Theatre uh, in Devon, um, Ali Street. And uh, the fee is very reasonable. It's only 50 bucks uh, per person. And then later in the year, it will be performed at UKZN uh, because they're our partners and also uh, using their students in the production. Okay, Jerry, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining me. That was Jerry Pue, founder of Wushini Arts Heritage Center in KZN, telling us about the musical that was inspired by an, a novel, Mind Boy, written in the year 1949 by a black author, and it's worth the watch. Let's go.